the YouTube, it's me, the Diva Eggs, and it is Cinco de Mayo, which means May 5th, 2011, for all of you who don't know what Cinco de Mayo is. Um, that is um, a reason to get drunk. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, now, there is some um, meaning behind it, but let's just face it. Nobody really knows what it is. I mean, you can Wikipedia. It's there. It's in writing. And um, But I just find it that everyone in at least over here in my region, in Fresno, um, just uses an excuse to get drunk or to have a night out with the gals. So, I mean, I mean, who am I to deny them a good time? Sorry, this music is just, it seems like I got louder. Um, but anyhow, so welcome, yes, I am doing this. It, okay, here's the deal. It's hot. <laughs> it's like, uh, okay, it's supposed to be spring, but it feels like summer today. And yesterday too, but today I think it's a little bit hotter. Um, and then it's supposed to rain, like, this weekend. So, um, it's very unexpected, but, I mean, we're gearing up for summer. I mean, it's good little, like, taste of get ready, girls, because it's time to melt your face off, um, before you get it done. So, I mean, you know, I'm, like, very excited about that. Yeah, right. Um, but I, if you hear a slight humming in the background, that's, uh, I have, like, every single fan in the house. Um... Um, I have all the fans in the house, and, um, what's even worse is if you see some sweat pouring down, um, I, I can't control it, you know what I mean? It's just like, um, in addition to my hair being wet under this, um, that doesn't help, you know what I mean? So it's like a, it's like a flood waiting to happen, so, um, excited about that. Okay, I know I talk about Tony Braxton and the Braxton family so much, but really it's a great show, and this past episode, this one, this last one, um, that happened on Tuesday, was, like, really a defining reason as to why you need to watch the show, um, or as to why it's a great show, like, you know what I mean, like, you, I think, I, I mean, I think about it on Tony Braxton's perspective, so in the public eye, you know, there is a lot of, um, going ons about her bankruptcy, and this and that and the next, um, and people don't understand it, people don't understand, they just think she's broke, well, she's not broke, um, it's bankruptcy protection. Um, if you want to find out more about as to why she's going bankrupt, then you should watch the show. If you don't, I mean, even if you want to, if you like entertainment, you like the show, period. Okay, so anyways, that would be the it for the, <laughs> the Braxton's. It was a great episode this past one, so if you get to watch, if you haven't watched yet and you watch this past episode, usually before the new episode on Tuesday, um, they air the last episode. So watch the last episode. It's really good. It's a defining, I think it's a defining episode of the show. Um, and it's really important, I think, uh, into their storylines, or into Tony's storyline. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, going on and on and on, RuPaul's Drag Race reunion show. I don't know. It was just kind of like, I didn't, I wasn't too excited about the reunion show. Um, my phone keeps going off, and, you know, it's single de mile, everyone's getting drunk and drunk texting. It happens at 1035, yes, it does. Um, so, you know, I, I kind of like, um, the, Ru the RuPaul reunion show is kind of like, um, um, it was exactly what we anticipated. I mean, really. I mean, I wish they would do something. Like, I don't know. I wish there was a fight or something. Like, something good. I mean, I know they're in a contract where they can't probably hit and whatever, but what are they going to do, kick you off the show? Like, the show's over. I mean, I know, I don't know. I just have a, like, I don't know. I think the reunion could be spiced up a little bit. Um, who knows? And, um, other than that, um, just gearing up. I'm so excited today. Um, today was a lot of premieres. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if, um, Nicki Minaj meant to try to steal Lady Gaga's Thunder with the Judas premiere with her Super Bass video. Um, it didn't work. I was underwhelmed with, um, well, I mean, I liked Nicki Minaj's video. I didn't... Only thing I saw... The only thing when I saw the video, and this is no disrespect to Little Kim, but all I thought was Crush on You. Like, this is Crush on You. That's what I thought. Um, so I'm just kind of like, um, okay, well then, moving right along. And then the Judas video came out today. Now, let me tell you something about um, Judas and Lady Gaga. I was, I'm not crying, I'm just like trying to figure, trying to use my words wisely because people get crazy. Um, I was slightly underwhelmed. I don't dislike the video, let me state that. I don't dislike the video. I, just in hearing the conversations about the video and like the tweets and the posts and the this and that, again, building up the video to expectations. Um, I was under impression it was going to be a much longer video. Maybe I'm, maybe there's another version, which I'm sure there are, there usually are. 
Um, but I was just very underwhelmed with the video. I love, I like the concept. I like the color. I like their costumes. Um, I like the, I, I like the video, but I'm underwhelmed by the video. I was expecting a lot more. Um, and I, you know, people say, oh, the best video, the best video, best video. I truthfully like, I mean, Bad Romance is kind of like a hot video. And then under that telephone, like, I mean, are even side by side because I equally in their own ways are like kick ass videos, um, at least conceptually and, and like setup wise and everything. So, I mean, I, I get, I, I don't know. And if there, the, I heard there was like a, a $10 million video for Judas. If that costs $10 million to make, she's paying too much. I think as if it has to do with, if it truly costs that much money, um, she's paying for the director's name or something because I mean that <laughs> I don't I just don't see that video costing ten million dollars. But then they also said that about Jenna Jackson's um, um, video where it was like all green screen and she was just standing like on a green screen and it was like they charge you ten million dollars a green screen like you know. So I get I mean if that was true about her video too. I mean you never know. There's never I mean the documents don't ever get released I guess. But I mean. If, if someone told me you're, that you're going to spend $10 million on doing something, whatever it is you're doing better be fucking spectacular. Either that or you're getting overcharged because $10 million is a lot of money. Like, I think I could produce a pretty dope video on $1 million. Like, let's call it what it is. So, I mean, if y'all are needing some direction or some, like, concept, let me know. I will charge you one mil. Are you, fuck? Hey, you know what? If they're charging you $10, we'll go half price. We'll go five mil. Like, really, that's why I feel about it because... I mean, the concept, I get the concept. I mean, the scenes, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I think Lady Gaga comes up with a lot of the concepts herself. So I don't know that I need someone to tell me what the scene's going to look like. I mean, I don't think she needs, I guess I should say. I don't think she needs someone to tell her what the scene's going to look like. I think it's more as a creative, like, how it should um, I want this scene. How do you think we should make it happen? I think that, and I can make some shit happen, okay? Um, I got a bathtub. We got a backyard. Um, we got some sprinklers we could turn on. We could run through them. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if we really wanted to make this happen on a but, like, I wouldn't say on a budget. I mean, I don't think, I get, you don't put your price, but I don't think 10, if, I, you know, I'm stuck on $10 million because there's a lot of money. But it probably, didn't, it probably, I mean, I hope it didn't cost so much money. But anyways, um, but yeah, I have some good ideas. So if you guys, you know, have some, I, you need some information about how to make something happen for cheap, on the cheap, let's do it. I mean, we're resourceful. Let's do it. Costumes and all. We can make it happen. So, yeah. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so anyways, the video came out today. It was cool. It was right. I, I like the video. I just am, just like, just like I said with, the, um, Born This Way, it was built up to be something that I was anticipating, like, uh, epic adventure, you know, and, um, um, no. And can I say Jesus, the guy who plays Jesus in the video, are well, who represents Jesus, not plays Jesus, represents Jesus, is, like, the most yummiest guy, I mean, if you guys remember him, like, you guys probably don't recognize him because he has his hair pulled back, but he has, like, I forget what movie. I think he's, um... Anyways, he's really hot. <laughs> he has big hair. He's normally... He uh, he was in a... I know he was in one of the movies where... Um... Uh, was it Wax Museum? Something something where, like, there was a bunch of kids and they all got killed. One of those, um, like, terror movies. But he is, um, I think, um, like, Puerto Rican or black and Puerto Rican. And he usually has his hair, like, big and poofy. So, like, big and poofy, like, the way I normally wear my hair, or, but not today. Um, so that was him, and, like, I adore him at all times. Um, I mean, he didn't look that great in this video, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but I think, to me, the hair makes him his character, but with the cornrows, too, I mean, you know, who doesn't, I mean, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, the voice, which, mine is not working today, as you can tell. I don't know why. I think it's allergies in combination with a little bit of still getting over my sickness that I haven't really gotten over with, and I know I should go to the doctors, but guess what? Who has the time? Um, so, but I think I'm, I'm getting a lot better. My voice gets like this, I, and I know it's like, I really think it has to do with allergies, because, like, allergies right now are ridiculous. Everyone's, like, coughing, sneezing, this and that, and, next, and it's like, I can't handle it. It's really not cute, and it's, um... Um, I'm all, ugh, ugh. So anyhow, 
um, The Voice. If you guys didn't watch the first two episodes, the two audition, blind audition episodes of The Voice, then you guys have missed out. I'm sure they'll re-air them sometime eventually, or like I said in the last video about the Braxton's, you could probably download them somewhere online, but The Voice is, I, here's the thing, when American Idol started first season, I think I watched the first season, but the second season I was done. Like, I couldn't watch it, I didn't want, I just was lost interest. The Voice I like the show, and I really, I mean, I like Christina Aguilera as an artist, and I like J-Lo as an artist, so it has nothing to do with Christina Aguilera. I mean, I, sometimes I even turn on American Idol just to see J-Lo, because I think she's stunning, always put together perfection. And so, I mean, you know, but I actually enjoy the voice as of now. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of confused about the, how the next part's going to work. I mean, are, I, the battling situation, I'm not too sure about that, but so far, the based on the blind auditions... I was very excited with what I saw and the talent that's on that show. Um, I wasn't excited to see some of the familiar face. Uh, la, 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 la. I said, or what I was trying to say was, um, I'm not too excited to see some of the familiar face. Here we go again. Fam I can speak English. I really, really can. It's just I'm trying to get it out in like record time and it's not working. So let me slow it down. I was very disappointed to see familiar faces on this show, meaning faces that we've seen on other shows, um, particularly American Idol. Um, and so I, I mean, that's the kind of part, that's the part I really didn't really care for. And I think there was another girl they said was on some show on VH1, or there was like two other contestants that were on other shows. And I don't really, um... Um, not that I don't think they should deserve a second chance. I just think that, um, that's, if they had their chance, if they got picked, if they got whatever, I mean, Frenchie was in a different situation because she got fucked over. Like, I think Frenchie got fucked over. And quite frankly, I don't know the circumstances of the other people as to why they didn't succeed or why they didn't have a deal or why they don't have a deal. But I just kind of think that even, um... Um, if they didn't take advantage of their situation, then I think that they shouldn't have be given a second chance in this arena. Um, that's just me personally. I mean, who cares what I think, but I mean, you're watching my video, so maybe you do. But I mean, I, I think that there was a little bit of, um, um they should have like, uh, I don't know. I just think they shouldn't have allowed that, but I mean especially people from America, if they were American Idol people, because I just, you know how that goes, you know? It's just like, keep it cut, keep it dry, keep it clean, keep it simple. Bam. Um, and that's that. So, um, that's it for me. I think I've talked enough. I talk too fast. I can't speak at all. So I'm trying to preserve my voice. Actually, I'm not trying to preserve my voice. I've been talking all day long. Like, it's going out of style. Like, I had something important to say, and I didn't. I was just speaking nonstop on the phone and stuff, um, just to, like, hear my voice. And um, that's okay with me. But this is what I have to deal with at the end of the day. And so I think I, my voice is pretty steady. It's just not what it normally is. So, oh, well. People just have to deal with the annoying undertone of it all but anyhow thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and um favorite and like and all that fun stuff on all the links and shit that i have on here because it's fun and fabulous and um share it with somebody okay thanks all right talk to you soon bye